Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and I'm here today with a snail mail swap. So um, some of you may know that I am on Swapbot and I created and joined a swap uh, that was about Happy Mail. I will tell you a little bit more about that, about the receiver who happens to be a pen pal of mine and all that a little bit later. But um, I first want to start with a little DIY because it needs a little bit of time to dry. So I thought I'd get right into that. Whew, need to take a breather. Okay, let me quickly explain. Um, so I'm doing a Happy Mill swap and because I know the receiver, I wanted to create a little vintage looking uh, package. <laughs> I am going to create paper that looks old because I have a lot of paper that looks old like this. I'll show everything later, but I know that many of you probably don't, so I figured I would look up a DIY and see what I can do with that. <laughs> so what I have here is just some strong coffee and a brush, and then I looked up a tutorial online, uh, a wikiHow tutorial, so I don't know how uh, reliable that is. But I'm using not just printer paper, it's a little bit thicker paper, I think it's 120 grams. Uh, because I don't want the paper to fall apart. First thing you have to do is like crumple it up, I think. Uh, I haven't done this before. And then we're going to paint the coffee on there. And then some other steps are involved. Okay, so this is what the end result looks like, I think. Uh, I just need to let this dry. But before I do, I read that you can make it look even cooler by uh, slightly burning the edges. Mm, so I'm just gonna try that. And the website, the wiki hire advised to burn the edges while the paper was still slightly damp. So, you know, I'm just gonna try that. Um, there are many more ways you can create old looking paper, but I thought this was the easiest one to show you. Okay, so this is what the end result looks like. I mean, I still have to let it dry, but this is what it looks like after I did the burning thing. Um, the coffee thing would definitely recommend. It's easy, it's quick, uh, it's, yeah, you don't need a lot of supplies. The burning thing, not so much. As you can see, it's quite messy, it takes a lot of work. It smells, <laughs> my entire house smells like smoke. I had to open uh, the balcony door. So yeah, I like the idea, but I'm not sure if I would like really recommend doing this. And if you wanna have like a vintage look, you could also simply tear it up a little bit. I'm gonna let this dry somewhere and then we will get back to the rest of the video. So with the DIY part out of the way, uh, it's time for me to talk to you a little bit about what this swap entails and what I'm going to send. Mm. Basically the idea is just that you will fill an envelope with happiness and send it to the partner you are um, partnered up with. Mm. Funny thing is, I created this swap, but the computer will um, assign partners so I cannot choose who I will be swapping with or I cannot choose who will be sending me a little package. I get to send my happy mail to one of my pen pals, Roxanne, which is a lot of fun because I know a lot about her style and I'm really excited to make this uh, little happy mail for her. You may have heard her name a couple times before because as I said, she's one of my pen pals and I made two of those what my pen pals sent me videos and she is featured in both of them because she makes such pretty happy meal always for me. And she really likes these vintage drawings and vintage stuff. So that's why I decided that I would try to make a little vintage looking Happy Meal for her. And now I want to show you how to make this folder thingy. The, 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 the style of folder that I'm going to make, I actually learned from a Dutch lady that I follow on Instagram. Her Instagram name is at Mimi Harlem. I will uh, put 
put that in the description down below as well. And she showed me how to make, or she showed her followers how to make this. And I've been wanting to try it ever since. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use these pages uh, for that. So when I bought this book, uh, I buy most of them in like thrift stores and they're usually 50 cents each or something. But some of those I bought on the market. Um, like a vintage wares market and when I bought these the guy that I bought them from he was so enthusiastic about these old books and I was <laughs> I was too afraid to tell him that I was actually going to cut them up so I, <laughs> I really hope he never finds out that I'm actually demolishing these pretty books this is my new tool it is the um, we are memory keepers fold and no trim and score no score and trim i don't know <laughs> this is the new my new memory keepers uh, scoring board with a trim function <laughs> let me just say it like that i'm just gonna make sure that all the papers are the same size i don't think it really matters which side is on the inside which side is on the outside but you know. um, of course you don't have to use old paper for this, you can use new paper or eh, whatever, you can use colored paper or printed paper or whatever. Just for the sake of this video I'm going to use this vintage paper. Uh, my cat is chewing in the background obviously. And then uh, after I finish this I also have to find a way to um, create some sort of an envelope or a card around it. But I'm going to start with this first. So, you have these little pockets now, and what you're going to do is first you're going to close them just by putting some glue on both sides. So, actually, I'm going to keep you in suspense a little bit longer because I first want to create the outline, just so that the little the little pockets can dry a little bit longer. And because I don't have anything that is, anything vintage that is, large and sturdy enough to create this. I found one of my paper pads. These are literally just like two euros each. And I'm going to find one that I think suits my theme. By the way, I'm literally making everything up as I go. Uh, may seem a little bit messy. <laughs> just a little, bit, a little bit. But this is just how it works. Um, and I chose this paper for the envelope. But anyway, what I'm going to do is just create a little folder around this. Sorry, I don't use any measurements because uh, this paper is only, let me see, around 11 centimeters. Uh, sorry, if you have a smaller or a bigger paper, then your measurements would be different already. But I just want to leave a little bit of space outside the paper outside the pocket so I'm just leaving about half a centimeter I think on each side yep kind of mm, anyway okay okay so I want it to be around there and then where is my score I'm going to score oops obviously you do not need this tool you can just uh, flip you can just fold it that's just as easy but because I have this tool I am very keen on using it I got it only last week so very excited so I'm just scoring it there and then this it and then I want to create a little flap so I'm going to score it again just over there Far, maybe about like half. Let me see. About there, I think. So, in this way, we have some sort of a file folder, I think I could call it. So, you open it and then whoop, there it is. What you're going to do is you're going to create some sort of a T with the glue. So, you go down the middle, just down the middle with some glue, and then at the top here, which will be actually the bottom, just create a T. I can use a glue roller or glue or whatever. 
bottom here. Nope. And then you're going to glue it onto this piece here. Let's see. Just leave a little bit of si uh, space on all sides. You have your first pocket. I'm not going to pull it too hard, otherwise the, it will let loose again. But now we're going to do the same with the next one. So we're again going to glue down the middle. Put some glue down the middle and the bottom here. It doesn't have to be a lot, just like about a centimeter or half a centimeter even, depending on how strong your glue is. And then you're going to glue these two together. So And what happens now, I cannot pull too hard because it's still the glue is not dry, but what, hap what happens now is that they, the pockets are connected only in the middle and at the bottom. So at the, si the sides are still uh, loose, <laughs> so that way you can stuff these pockets as full as you want. And mm, yeah, <laughs> so it's going to continue with the rest of them. And then the final one, we're going to do the same. Just put some glue down the middle and at the bottom, and then we're going to um, glue there, there, and we will hook together. So it obviously still needs to dry, but this is your end result. Obviously, you could make this in any size you want. This is just a small one because I used the vintage papers but you could you know make it a four size or make it smaller bigger whatever you please filled up one entire 16 gigabytes <laughs> while filming this so this is going to be a pain in the ass for editing but uh, the glue has dried thank you for the random background noises the glue has dried and I just want to show you what it looks like um, so this is our little accordion folder <laughs> as you can see uh, when you open it the pockets fold out nicely they look a little a bit small but there's actually a lot of space in here for goodies and I could put in a letter or maybe some tea um, my pen pal doesn't actually like tea but you know I could put it in if I wanted to I have let me see here it is I have these huge golden paper clips which I absolutely love and I wanted to use this in some way in this swap because it's sort of vintage so what I thought I could do is I could close it like this which I think looks very pretty, but um, I had another idea, so I'm going to go with that. Um, what you need, I am just going to use this from my sewing kit. <laughs> I am going to need two brads, just punch out or cut or, you know, whatever, two circles. I like when they are the same size, but they don't have to be. And then... We are going to punch a hole in the middle of the circle and then I need to find where I want to put them I forgot the word again put the brads of centimeters I should put it at six centimeters there two and then you just push it through yeah and you want to open the bread, but still leave a little bit of space 
underneath the top, if that makes sense. Because you're actually going to wrap a little bit of this twine around it. So don't make it too tight. Just need to punch a hole through the folder then too. Okay, we're going to do the same. Just punch it through the hole and then close it while leaving a little bit of space at the top. Your twine. And now what we're going to do is just use this twine to close the envelope. So you're going to wrap the, the end of the twine around the top one. Just wrap it around a couple times so that it doesn't go, get loose. And then you go to the bottom one and you just make it look pretty. And this is the way the folder is going to look. So now all I have to do is decorate it and fill it with goodies. So first, my SD card was full, then my battery died. <laughs> so I just uh, did some things off camera. I already finished this, but I put a little uh, label sticker here that says Dear Roxanne, and I put this, I don't know how you call this, it's like cork. I showed it to you before I put this over the back of the... I keep forgetting what it's called. Over the back of the thingy, whatever. And now I'm just going to decorate the envelope and I'm going to send this in and then, then I will put the goodies in and I will show you what I selected. So unfortunately, I was smart enough to put the, um, this paper underneath <laughs> on sideways. So I'm just going to pretend like uh, it's meant to be that way. So what I did is I took one of these vintage looking lined papers from the Flow Paper Lovers book. And I, put, I just tore it up a little bit and then I put one of these vintage cutouts that I cut out earlier um, over that. And then... Whoops, I just finished it up by using some of this brown craft paper that I got when I bought flowers on the farmer's market. <laughs> I, I just put that here and then I'm going to put her address over here and then the stamp up there or maybe even up there and then I'm just going to put my return address on this side here so that's a little bit cohesive, coherent I think I should say. Um, yeah, so that is the envelope and now I'm finally going to finish with the little flip book itself. Oh. I still have my vintage looking paper, but I don't actually know what I'm gonna do with it because uh, I thought I could write the note that you usually include with the swap on it, like, hey, Roxanne, this is your Happy Meal swap, blah, 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 but it's kind of big for that. I also thought I could use one of these to write that note on because it's nice and old and I can just tear it up, make it a little bit smaller and then that will look really nice and this actually matches the color quite nicely. So I'm going to discard this for now, you know, maybe I'll use it in another swap. It was nice to show uh, for a little bit of inspiration. And then I have some goodies. You already saw me make the washi sample. And this ribbon, which I really love the look of, and I know that my pen pal does too. So I'm just going to put these in. Then from a giveaway I won from Mimi Harlem, the one that I got this idea from, I, in this giveaway I won some of these vintage, I think all of these are like sugar bags. And I'm going to put these in there as well. They have some really nice prints and a nice feel to them. 
And then I'm obviously going to put the paper clip somewhere. I want to give her some doilies. Doilies, doilies, doilies. Get started. So even though these pockets look quite small, I know that the doilies will fit in there. Just going to put these in this pocket in the back. And then I'm going to put the sugar bags in one of the pockets. I think I should have made more pockets. <laughs> Sugar bags in there. Yeah, and uh, the ribbon and I have a washi tight tag. And so these are just little watercolor stickers. And hopefully I can just put them in the little pocket with the washi tight tag. Yes. So that is it. Oh, this the ribbon does make the envelope a little bit fatter. I will put something else. I will put some of the stamps in the pocket instead. Really beautiful stamps. Just instead of the ribbon, I'll just put the stamps in there, and then I'll put the ribbon uh, in the envelope. This pretty flower cut out in there. Didn't work. Oh, that actually works. The paper clip on the inside as well. So in here we have the doilies, sugar bags, the paper clip, the flower cut out and the stamps, and then the stickers and the washi tape uh, samples. And I'm just gonna close it. Really like the way this looks. Okay, so in here I'm just going to write my little swap note. Swap note. Okay, so always include your username and the swap because some people are in like 100 swaps at the same time and you do want your rating. And then I'm just going to write a nice little message on here. And then final thing is um, I did an order on Craftelier and I ordered these Maggie Holmes Flea Market Project Life cards. I don't even do Project Life. I couldn't even explain Project Life to you, but I really love these, ca these cards that you use for Project Life. But I'm just gonna choose some pretty cards that she can use for a snail mail. I like using these for flip books and stuff. So now that I'm finished, I'll just show you everything once more um, on this very beautiful vintage paper. I am going to write my little swap note. And this is my envelope, the note, project life card with the vintage look, handmade stickers, the pretty flip book that I made, or the accordion mail, I don't know, and the pretty ribbon that I included. I will be wrapping all of this up nicely and then I will obviously put a stamp and her address on here and it is ready to be sent. <laughs> so now that I'm finished, I... Um, oh, before I forget, I keep talking about my pen pal Roxanne, but she's actually on YouTube too. So if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel, but also don't forget to check out her channel because she makes some very pretty very pretty things. Um, I would love it if you would check me out on Instagram as well. Um, I'll put all the links in the description down below and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye!